Prisma is a Node.js and TypeScript ORM. Like Lucid, it supports multiple databases. Lucid only supports relational databases, well, as at the time of making this tutorial. But Prisma supports both relational and NoSQL databases, like MongoDB. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Prisma and MongoDB in Adonis by building a simple blog API. So let's start by creating a new Adonis application. npm init Adonis TS app at latest. I'm going to call the app Adonis Prisma MongoDB. Then I will select API. The name will be the same. Yes, I want to set up ES Lint as well as Pritia. So that is done. I'm going to sit into the project. To effortlessly use Prisma in Adonis, I'm going to be using this package called Adonis Prisma. This package provides the Prisma client as well as an auth provider based on Prisma. Before we install the package itself, we need to install its dependencies. First, we need to install Prisma, then Prisma client. So I'm just going to copy this and head back to my terminal and run. Now we can install the package. Then we need to configure it. So the package has been fully installed and configured. I'm going to open the project in VS Code. Next, we need to set up Prisma. And we can do that using the Prisma CLI. So npx Prisma init. Then we can specify a data source provider. Dash dash data source provider. Which I'm going to set to MongoDB. The data provider is the database we want to use. So we have the option of selecting relational databases like MySQL, Postgres, and NoSQL databases like MongoDB and others that Prisma supports. So I'm going to hit enter. If we head back to VS Code, you will see that a new Prisma directory has been created for us, which contains a schema.prisma file. For now, the file only contains the Prisma client as well as the data source information. So we have the provider, which we set to MongoDB. At the point of setting up Prisma, of course, you can always change this from here. And also the database URL, which is read from an EMV file. And Prisma has added the environment variable inside the .env file. Of course, we need to update the database URL to point to our own URL. For that, I'll be making use of MongoDB Atlas. I already set up a free and demo cluster, which I'll be using for this tutorial. So I'm going to connect to it by copying the connection string and paste it here the password is going to be test again this is just for demo purpose of course you will need to create your own database with secure credentials this will be the database name i'm going to call the database adonis prisma mongodb also i have mongodb compass which we will use to check the database let me grab this and connect to it so we are connected to that cluster. These are the default database that comes with it. We can create a new database here, or we can allow Prisma to do that for us. I'm going to go with the second option. Now we can start creating the models for our application. And we can do that inside the schema.prisma file. So we are going to define a post model, and it's going to have a couple of fields. So the first one is going to be the ID field, which is going to be a string. Then at ID, then we are going to set the default value to auto-generate. Since we are using MongoDB, and MongoDB ID is underscore ID, so we are going to map the MongoDB underscore ID to ID, that is map underscore ID, then at DB dot object ID. Then we have another field which will be type 2, again it's going to be a string, then content, which is also going to be a string. So that is all the fields we need to define for the post model. Like Lucid, Prisma also supports migrations. But as at the time of this tutorial, Prisma doesn't support migration with MongoDB. So we've created our first model. What we need to do next is generate a Prisma client based on this model. And we can do that using the Prisma CLI. So npx Prisma generate. So this is going to read the schema.prisma file and generate a Prisma client based on what is in the file. So now we can start using the Prisma client. Now I'm going to create a post controller. Node is make controller post controller. Sorry, this should be dash E. Also, I'm going to define some routes. Routes.resource, which is going to be post and the controller is going to be post controller. 
Now let's go to the post controller. I'm going to create the first method, which is going to be to create a post. We're going to use the Prisma client we just generated to interact with the database. First, we need to import the Prisma client. So import from at IOC addonis slash addon slash Prisma. Then I'm going to import the Prisma client. So now we can make use of it. So const post equals await prisma dot post so that is the post model dot create so this will take an object which will contain the data we want to insert into the database for now that is the title and the content so i'm going to do request dot only then i'm going to get the title as well as the content then i can return post so that is how to create record with prisma let's test this out first let's start the server for testing of this application i'm going to be using insomnia you can use whatever you are comfortable with. First, I'm going to create a new folder, which I will call post. Then I'll create the first request, which will be create post, which is going to be a post request, then slash post. Then for the body, I'm going to use JSON, which will contain the title, demo blog host. Then the content will be demo blog post content. We've just created a post. And if we head over to MongoDB Compass and refresh, we should see that our database has been created for us and we now have a new collection which is post that contains the post we just created next let's look at how to retrieve this post i'm going to duplicate this to save me some typing and i'm going to call this show then we'll get params from the context then instead of calling the create method we are going to call find unique this method will query the database by the unique fields. This accepts an object and a where object where we define the unique fields. For our case, it's just going to be the ID, which we'll get from params. Let's head back to Insomnia and give it a try. I'm going to duplicate this. This will be retrieve single post. And it's going to be a get request. It's going to take the ID of the post we want to fetch. Now let me grab that from here. This does not accept anybody and sure we are able to retrieve the record next we are going to look at how to retrieve multiple records again let me duplicate this and this is going to be index now i want to retrieve all the posts we are going to use another method which is going to be find many and we're not going to pass any arguments to it let me rename this accordingly let's try it out let me duplicate this retrieve all posts this is going to be slash post and it's going to be a get request so i'm going to send so we've gotten the records for now we only have just one but you notice that it's an array of records let's get a couple of records now i'm going to retrieve so we've created three records so far and we are retrieving them here next let's look at how to update a record and let me duplicate this and call this update in addition to request i'm going to also pull in params to update a record, we are going to make use of the update method. So update. This will accept the filter to select the record to be updated and the data to update the record with. So we already have the data. Let's add the filter. So I'm going to add a where object that will contain the filter, which is going to be where ID is equals to the ID from the params. So it's going to update the record that matches this ID and it's going to update it with the value from the request. Let's try it out. I'm going to duplicate this. This is going to be update post. And it's going to be a patch request. Let me copy that ID again. Updated type two, then updated demo blog post content. We got back the updated record. And if we retrieve all records again, we should see that reflecting here also. Lastly, let's look at how to delete a record. This is going to be destroy. And here, instead of the update method, I'm going to call the delete method. This will only accept the record we want to delete. So let me get rid of the data. We are saying delete the record with the ID that matches the ID from the params. Let's try it out. Delete post. It's going to be a delete request. And of course, nobody. So we want to delete the post with this ID. So the record has been deleted. We are getting this post here because we returned the post from our code, which I don't think we need. So I'm going to get rid of that completely. But if we retrieve all the posts now, we should see that that post has been deleted. So that is how to use Prisma and MongoDB in Adonis.